Hey guys, should we try to give him some feed? Is she like it, Matthew? Yeah, she ate some. She ate some? <laughs> family is really important to us. I don't know where I'd be without my family. Currently have six of our family members that work on the farm, and now we have the next generation. My wife and I have 18 grandkids. I don't know how often the grandkids aren't here on a holiday. Oh, there's a calf being born. Let's go watch it. And they learn from it. I've always loved cattle, and I've always loved dairy farming, and I've always loved the people that are involved in dairy farming. And so I really had no desire to really do something else. Morning, Sergio. So I moved here with my family. I had a brother and a sister and my mom and dad. We moved here with 28 cows in 1962 when I was seven years old in second grade. We purchased a few registered cows when I was in 4-H and the herd grew from those 26 cows to the current about 1,500 milking cows. All the cattle are registered or identified through Holstein to have the ability to look backward as we move forward. The registered Holstein cow has always been interesting to me. How can she reproduce, make good offspring, have her offspring make good offspring? And the genetic end of it gives me more interest seeing the day-to-day -day progress that you can make. And part of the, the growth of the dairy here has been to look forward at what's going to happen and not, okay, well that worked good, let's go back and do more of that. It's like, well that was good in the past, let's do what's good in the future. The bone mass genetics have really changed throughout my life. When I was a young kid, plastered below our bone mass signs at our home farm was breeding black and white beauties. And the biggest change was being an early adopter of genomic testing, which I think the big determining factor was my older brother, Nate. He went through his master's and then his PhD in genetics and said, we've got better indicators than just the looks of a cow. Let's start using this data that we have and bring it back. So we've kind of changed from breeding the black and white beauties to breeding the blue collar ladies. We really want the cows that are profitable, that are gonna last, and that aren't gonna be problem cows. So we really wanna be kind of a seed stock farm for the commercial dairymen. I'm excited about a lot of the new technology that's coming in the dairy industry and the embryo end of it. This is where we keep the high genetic heifers. So we're always looking for the best of the youngest heifers who are the highest ones because we want the calves to be out of our best cows. I think the most fun about dairy farming is really seeing the progress through the generations. We have two-year-olds that are calving sooner and making more milk or looking better, uh, lasting longer. We've seen some good things on milk production since we made some changes. We're milking in a 40 stall rotary now. We're using a hybrid ventilation on the barns and all those efficiencies just play into having good cattle, which is really what we're all about. We really focus on everything that makes a cow healthy and profitable. Putting up quality feed, good housing, cow comfort, whatever makes the cow happy makes us happy. And in turn, she seems to respond with good production. The cows are our life, they're our livelihood. We're not gonna do anything that would be detrimental to them, because in turn that would be detrimental to us. So I think the other thing that we're trying to do a good job of is tell our story. We've got the fourth grade of our local school coming out for a field trip next week. We're going in to bring a nutritious dairy snack to the rest of the elementary and read them a story about dairy farming. Every summer we have a community picnic. We serve a free lunch, usually sweet corn, barbecues with all the fixings and then we give tours of the barn and uh, growing crops, telling people where their milk comes from, uh, how we take care of the cows, and 99% of the people go away feeling like they've learned a lot. They didn't realize everything we do for the cows. Anything we can do to make the farm feel welcome like it's part of the community, we feel is really good. And of course, we give them some good dairy treats when they're here too.